Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Alter Ego Male Edition. I'm Zerfall, and last we left off, we tried to play 7 Minutes in Heaven and got a slap in the face for our efforts. Um, we're about to go on up into Young Adulthood, if I could get my controller to realize that it's on. Uh, apparently that's not going to happen today. So, on to the keyboard. Let's continue. So, speaking, oh, we got to put in disc two, which would be, actually, according to this, um, disc four, I believe. Oh, no, it's actually going to be disc two, because it starts with disc zero. Interesting. Insert disc two. Continue. Um, speaking of making poor decisions in life, I fell off my bike when I was out trying to get some exercise and get prepared for the uh, MS bike ride I'm going to be doing later this summer. I tried to do a U-turn and uh, I was completely stopped. There were no cars or anything around me other than one kid who was passed and not looking at me until I was about a 45, like I turned my wheel too much to the left as I started to go. So instead of converting my pedal energy into making the bike go forward, um, the front wheel just didn't really move. And then the bike converted all that energy into turning the bike over sideways. I couldn't clip my foot out fast enough for my uh, clipless pedals. So I ended up landed on the ground pretty hard on my hip on my butt. But she kind of hurts a bit now from that. But uh, hopefully my physical stat didn't take too much damage. Welcome to adolescence. He was a bold man that first ate an oyster. All right, and look at all these things we got going on here. I'm actually going to pull up our alter ego page that I still have open here. We're going to go through these things real quick. So B was our stats. H here, HS, that's uh, going to school. I believe it's studies. Um, it has different symbols for the study based on what grade you're in, but that's studying. Um, it helps you you know, get a better job in the future, maybe. Yeah. Um, this down here, I'm not pointing at them very well. I should be using this cursor. Okay, so. We've got, this here's our stats. This is high school. This is uh, finding a job. If you don't have a job, this is where you find it. Um, this over here is um, relationship, you can find a life partner, um, or the relationship trauma that finally throws you off the track. Um, and this little thing here is not shown. I wonder what this is. Let's click on it. That might be a family. No. Oh, it's doing something fun. It appears. I don't know why it's not really showing that on our Descriptions here. Interesting. Okay. So, having some fun. You and a bunch of friends decide it might be good to try skydiving. Stop. Continue. 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 You pay your lesson and take your... You pay your money and take your lesson. Continue. The man who runs the place has an extremely large belly, smokes a cigar, and has alcohol on his breath. I'm going to put a save state down here because I have a feeling we're we going to die. we going to die will be the name of this save state. It's likely to be the case. The plane you're about to fly in is patched with... That silver tape that is used for air conditioning ducts. Ah, it's lighter than air, isn't it? Continue. The man hesitates when he hands you your parachute and mumbles, I think that's the one with the hole in it, and gives you another one. That's fine, he gave us a new one. The man has to bang the engine of the plane with a hammer to get it going. Continue. It's time to jump. Well, I'm not staying in this plane because it might not land. You fall for what seems to be at least 70 seconds. Then there's a jerk and you look up to see the parachute billowing open. You glide towards the earth and experience one of the most exhilarating feelings in your life. 
There we go. I bet you that might be something where if you stay on the plane instead of going, it crash lands. But if you don't, um, this time thing is probably just wasting time. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the studies panel. It's new. You're not quite old enough for high school yet. Please return to this icon when you're 14. Okay. Oh, yeah, the time tells us how old we are. Let's see what it says. We're 13 and four months. So we got to spend a bit of time doing some stuff. Uh, handshakes is a relationship. I don't think we're ready for a relationship yet. But maybe we will be soon. You are too young to take on the responsibilities of a job just yet. Concentrate on your schoolwork. So, none of that crap yet. But did that waste any of our time? I think we're good. Okay. Let's go ahead and find out what our first uh, social development interaction is for this year. Tonight is Halloween. Some of your more fun-loving friends are going door-to-door. -door. Some of your more mischievous friends are going out to play pranks. Decide which, room you'd like, which group you'd like to join. Uh, I'm more into the door-to-door, have-fun type of people. You can go door-to-door -to -door and get the traditional candy and loose change, or go door-to-door -door and collect money for charity. Let's do that. We're 13, going on 14. It's time for us to put away childish things. And then, oh, great job. You've collected $17. Do you keep it or turn it? You don't keep it. That's, oh, that's terrible. Trustworthiness increases. You are charitable and honest. There you go. That might actually help with the fact that we uh, messed with our parents a bit. Now, let's try to be good with our parents here for the first couple of things before we get too rebellious. This is supposed to be family stuff, is it not? Let's read it and find out. Christina Farber got a little wild playing spin the bottle at a friend's house yesterday. As a result, your neck looks like it was stung by a pack of wild hornets. As you walk out of the bathroom, Dad inquires about the curious marks. Let's be crafty and tell the truth. <laughs> oh, you don't know how to respond, eh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's be embarrassed, but tell the truth. Because it's our dad, not our mom. Our dad's going to be like, that a boy. Family relations are good. Your truthfulness makes them even better. Dad knows where you got the mark. And might have even been embarrassed when he asked, even though he trusts you. He feels the responsibility of keeping you out of trouble as much as possible. All right, see, so that, does, that did good. These talks will probably never prevent you from doing what you really want to do. But they can make you think twice about some things. All right, let's see if this is maybe one with her mom and if we can keep on the good side of her, too. You are in one of your ultra-cool moods. While cruising through the house, you bump your foot on a piece of furniture and you let out a swear word. And you let a swear word sneak out. Your mom calls to you from the other room. She says, Did you say what I thought you said? Let's be truthful and tell her we didn't apologize. Maybe she'll realize we're growing up fast. Wisely, you drop the cool act. It's important to be cool, but when mom has a t her temper up, she can put you on ice permanently. Is, is this implying her mom will murder us if we cross her too hardly? It seems to be. Intellect sphere increases sharply. Oh, we're smart as attack now. We were already doing pretty good. Let's uh, check those stats out. I know physicality is doing very poorly for us. So we're 13. Don't have a job. We're still single. We are not a very calm individual. We need to learn how to relax. However, we're super confident, super expressive. Our familial tides are, ties are pretty good. Um, gentleness and happiness is not bad either. Our physical is six. But our intelligence is super high. We're very thoughtful and trustworthy and social. We don't have much of a vocational uh, thing yet, but we'll earn that as we go. Uh, we'll have to be one of those nerdy guys that ends up uh, doing something good. I don't really want to go this way because I feel like with the physical stuff I have, I, I don't know if physicality reaches zero if you die. Maybe it does. <laughs> we'll find out at some point, I bet. A couple of your friends have convinced someone to purchase a bottle of very cheap wine. They are excited about the idea of getting drunk. Let's be anxious but share the wine. No, do you know what? Yeah, I feel like this is the proper mixed feeling bag to do, but it's probably going to punish me being like, because you're anxious, you get so drunk, you die. All 
Oh, it's trying hard to figure out what that means. You consider, uh, you consider your concern over what your friends mate think of you, combined with the fear of getting caught drinking, causes you to act very particular when you get home. Even though you are not drunk, your mom suspects that something funny is going on here. Even though you haven't taken enough to be drunk, your breath still smells. Let's... You know what? This truthfulness is working well for us so far. She is disappointed in you, but more understanding than you would think. She thanks you for telling the truth. There, that keeps us from getting in trouble. Although, she probably knew we were in trouble when we walked in. Shame on us. One of the older kids in school takes you aside and offers you a quick way to make money dealing drugs. Nothing too heavy or dangerous, according to him. All you would have to do is deal some pot and a few lewds. We're not interested and tell him we won't do it. This is exactly the type of thing this game would punish us for later. He tells you you've just passed up the opportunity to make some easy money. He is caught dealing three weeks later, but nothing much happens to him. Three months after that, you read he was jailed in South America during a recent drug-related incident. See, it starts out okay, until you end up trafficking. Alright, what's this one? Got to say. Getting pretty social. We're probably 14 now. We should probably go to school. Your friends all go to the shore for a beach party. It's late at night. One of your friends has a suggestion. He says, let's go skinny dipping. Let's be uninhibited, but wait for everyone else to take their clothes off. If it does not understand that, the game's a dingus. That's really uninhibited, all right. All of, all of the uninhibited people are already in the water. You have barely removed your socks. Are you sure you really want to go through with this? Yes. It's like as soon as you get in the water, they get out, and there it turns out they're wearing their pants. Take off your clothes and quickly jump into the water. After a while, you begin to get cold. Unfortunately, when you decide to come back out, you realize that everyone else has already left the water. As a matter of fact, they are all dried off and dressed again. When you emerge, your eyes are upon... Uh, all eyes are upon you and your various attributes. Oh, but it was cold water! Oh, no! <laughs> I swear the water was cold! How do you not notice everyone else getting out of the water, though? Like, you're supposed to have high intellect. You are on the school bus on a class trip. Getting cozy with your newest girlfriend. Oh, man, we're a ladies' man, apparently. Let's be amorous but discreet. And just cuddle. Like you didn't take any risks. How romantic. Your girlfriend is very impressed. You are a sensitive person. Social sphere and several positive emotion indicators rise. Um, several possible emotional indicators is actually slang for uh, boners. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to try to remember that one for in the future. All right. What do we got going on here? How old are we? 14, eight months. Okay. So let's head to high school. Well, yeah, let's head to high school before we... Uh, Get into trouble here with this body thing that gets us killed. You haven't been in high school for very long, and you have gotten lost in the halls. You ask another older student if he knows where your class is. Because of your social, because your social skills are so good, you have no trouble gaining sympathy and getting directions to your class. Cha-ching! As long as we don't get roughed up by a bully, we'll be doing pretty good. Okay. Um. Let's. Uh, you know what? I want to throw down a save state because I don't want to just die. Right out of the hop here. LP2. Okay. Let's go ahead and do this and then hop right into that physical thing. I'm going to have to get a job soon too. You and a friend are hanging around in the bathroom together. Your friend takes out some magic markers and begins to write on the walls. He asks you if, what you, if you want to write something too. What will you do? Be creative and draw something. Tell him you don't want to get in trouble. Let's be creative and draw something. You draw a figure of a female, label some of the more interesting parts. If the labels were not so descriptive, your picture would be practically impossible to recognize. You and your friend are snickering at the picture and decide uh and deciding on what the girl to blah, 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 what the girl's name to what girl's name to put above it when you hear the distinctive flush. Mr. Black was evidently in the can while you were redecorating the bathroom. Attention, gentlemen! Mr. Black is an ex-Marine drill sergeant. The two of you forward harch 
to the principal's office. That's not so bad. We're not just a, a sensitive intellectual. We're also a bad boy. So watch out, girls. You were hanging around at your friend's house. There's nobody home but you and him. Your friend goes to his parents' bedroom and emerges with a small yellow box. He opens the box and shows you his father's gun, a chrome revolver. This is going to end well. Let's be interested. Well, no, we should be calm and tell him to put it away. Gun safety, folks. It might be loaded. Acting ancients might cause your friend to tease you or egg you on with the gun. He did a dangerous thing by taking the gun out. One or both of you could have been killed. Intellectual sphere increases. It can't get much higher than it is. We gotta start making some dumb decisions. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a job yet. Mm, it's checking. Nope, it's not time to put away our childish things just yet. All right, our family is doing, where is my thing? I did not press the go button. Jeez. Our family is uh, doing pretty good already, so let's not risk it by doing other stuff. This is supposed to be a job opportunity. On the back of an old matchbook cover, you see the offer, which promises you the possibility of a free art scholarship if you can draw Winnie, a cartoon figure on the inside flap. Not interested throughout the matchbook cover. Those things are always a scam. And we can't even draw a female figure that's remotely, I mean, it's, it's literally a, a stick man. You draw a line to make it a skirt, but if you don't want the skirt to be on, you draw a stick man and draw figure eight above the chest. Boom, done. How can you not draw that? Not very good at graffiti. You're not gonna be fooled by this old sham. Your drawing of Winnie usually entitles you to nothing more than a first class ride on the bus to Sucker City. Thanks for the hot tips, games. Got any hot tips? All your friends are skipping class, and they want you to come along too. Well, we're a pretty smart guy. Let's be interested in skip class. You know what? I'm not going to act like I never skipped class in high school. How do you think I got so good at Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Your status on the trustworthiness characteristics suggests that you are not the type of person who does this sort of thing frequently. As a result, you experience no negative emotional consequences, except for a slight decrease in the calmness characteristic. Since you are so trustworthy, an action like this is bound to make you a little nervous about getting caught. Well, shit. Less calm than ever before. So anything that we got to keep our cool, it's not going to work out so well. Let's go ahead and check out this relationship. Our emotional development sphere. John, a very close friend of yours, has been very depressed lately. You have seen him moping around the halls at school, keeping to himself. One day, while you are running an errand for your teacher on the top floor of the building, you see a shadow swaying on the school roof. You peer through the designs in the glass panel, straining to see what's happening out there. Aw, oh, jeez. It's John! You call out to him and discover that he is planning to jump off. He wants you to go away and make believe you didn't see him. He starts thinking about wanting to be he starts talking about wanting to be at peace. He refers to a rock star to rock stars who have died, and how he will get the chance to be with them. Alright. Here's our big chance. Oh, maybe it's not. Suddenly, while he's talking, John loses his footing and begins to fall off the roof. He's able to grab onto the flagpole that is attached to the side of the building. He looks frightened and begins to cry. All right. Our calmness stat that I just talked about is not very good. I do want to try to save this guy. All right, let's be anxious, but try to remain calm and get help. I know I'm not strong enough to get him up there myself. You tell John to hang on for a few seconds while you get help, but as you find it, but as you find a teacher and tell him what has happened, John loses his grip and falls to his death. All right, I do not like that. I mean, it didn't even do anything. If it had some sort of consequence, I'd be more entitled to more uh, likely to keep it. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this, open it back up. Uh, LP3, and just see if being calm and not anxious lets us get there fast enough. I will try to save him, but I have a feeling it's going to get us killed too, and I got to make sure I have the right disc in actually before uh, it gets messed up from this. All right. Calm, get help. 
Uh, you are not capable of remaining calm. Your desire to appear cool under this kind of stress clouds your judgment. By the time you find someone to try to explain the situation calmly, John has already fallen to his death. But if we don't stay calm... Okay, so maybe you have to be panic-stricken in this situation. Because it's not time to stay calm. It's time to save a life. All right. Just real quick, I gotta eject some discs. I don't know why it doesn't save what disc you have in. Okay, we're gonna be panic-stricken and get help. All right. Try one more time, see if we can save them ourselves. That was a weird clicking sensation that the game gave me. I'm not quite sure if it passed that on to you guys. Eject this. Insert that. Okay, we're gonna be anxious, but try to remain calm and try to help him yourself. Hmm. Turns out you gotta save him yourself. And you know what? I'm not very physically strong, but somehow I managed to save him. Even though this is an extremely tense situation, you are confident in your ability to save the life of your friend. You snake out onto the a ledge. Grab John's dangling feet and pull him to safety inside the building. In the following weeks, you become a school hero. The town mayor awards you with a medal honoring your courageous act. Sure. I'm curious where this path goes now. I guess that was all about emotionalness, though. I should have known when it wasn't a physical logo that it wasn't going to matter how strong we were. You are currently madly in love with a girl who is having a birthday next week. You're trying to think of what to get her. She has hinted about an expensive piece of jewelry that would be... Just about wipe out your life savings if you buy it for her. We are too young for that. We have mixed feelings and try to think of something else. You try to think of something else, but your guilt prevents you from coming up with anything good. Eventually, the whole experience you start to resent the girl and the relationship flops. Lame game. Lame. Kids are full of mixed feelings. Stop making them screw up every time they have them. I guess we got to go with the gusto on everything. Your best friend since grade school has look, been looking depressed and confused. He's usually a very happy-go-lucky person, but you can't really understand what could be wrong. Speak sympathetic concern and ask him what's wrong. He is our best friend, after all. He tells you that there's nothing wrong, but you can see in his face that he's deeply troubled. Keep pressing him to tell you. He tells you to F off. After much hesitation, he lowers his eyes and blurts out that he thinks he's homosexual. He is worried that if he tells any friends, they will desert him and that he will be laughed at. What are you feeling right now? Accepting. Uh, there should be like, I mean, this is a little early for this game to have this sort of thing, but <laughs> there should be the, you know, every time we've had interaction with a girl, it's like, how do you feel? Are you anxious? Are you nervous? Are you aroused? Why not give you that choice here? I mean, sure, we didn't want to jerk off with all our friends that one time. Uh, but you never know. It's nice to see that you're willing to be supportive. We're going to be sympathized with him and ask him to tell us his troubles. The professional counseling for this sort of thing back in the day when this game was made was not necessarily the best. You may be asking for more work than you are willing to provide for this friend. As a result of your sympathy, he becomes very dependent, telling you his every problem, every thought, every worry. This is bound to wear down the patience of even the most true blue friend. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do for your friends. At this time in life, I'm sure you have many of your own problems to deal with. As a result, you become tired of being his therapist and begin to avoid him. Your friendship eventually dwindles away. That's kind of lame. But it is the sort of thing that actually happens. In high school, let's uh, see what's coming down the pipe here. You know what? Are we old enough for a job yet? Are we 16? Let's find out the hard way. What job will you be applying for? Cook in a fast food store. Clerk in a drug store. Ticket, ticket in a movie theater. Trucker's helper for a moving firm. Assistant at a law office. I'm hoping... That we're good enough to get this. Qualifications are now being checked. I'm not qualified for that. 
Congratulations, you start work immediately. I am smart enough for that. Oh man, we're on the fast track to Money Town. All right. Although I don't know if I can just do job. What does this do? I don't want to look for a new job. Do you like to quit your job? No. No. All right, well, let's just work our way up here a bit. It's interesting because we can't see our money spending yet. So we're probably going to be able to save up a ton of money by the time we get to college. Xiong Li, a new Chinese student who can barely speak English. Oh, is a new student. <laughs> Apparently, same here. Uh, Xiong Li is a new Chinese student who can barely speak English. He appears awkward, is not aware of modern styles of dress, and is a bit clumsy. Everyone at school has begun to make fun of him. What a bunch of jerks. We're going to be sympathetic. Try to approach him. We're too cool for school already, so if we talk to him, we should be able to convince other people not to be such jerks. You approach him with tremendous difficulty and try to make conversation. He seems very shy and self-conscious about his communication difficulties. Your friends think you are stupid for wasting your time with him. It seems hopeless that the two of you will ever be able to understand one another. You can. Keep trying. We've been a pretty good kid so far. We're a goody two-shoes. We're going to keep going. Months pass, pass and Xiong begins to learn English very quickly. Just think how long it would take you to learn Chinese if it were the other way around. As soon as he's able to express himself, he tells you that he appreciates your sympathy and friendship. You have made a lifelong friend. Very good. Not doing too bad at all. What happens if I press this relationship button? Hmm, it's really thinking hard about it. All right. Let's meet someone slash start a relationship. Who would you like to meet? I don't know anything about any of these people. Oh, man. Okay. Ah, jeez. Let's go with Ruth. Where would you like to meet this person? I don't know anything about them. Let's go with in school. Maybe I'm just picking a name. And the only thing that matters is this part. You have chosen to re meet Ruth. Ruth's characteristics uh, may be described as follows. She's very trustworthy. She is moderately gentle. She's not very calm. She is very happy. She is moderately confident and not very attractive. You choose what you believed to be an appropriate time and a place to ask for a date. I should tell you these things before you randomly pick a person to make sure this person is not interested in you right now. Womp, womp, womp. We'll come back to that later, I guess. Maybe we're supposed to be paying attention to the names as we do things. Although, uh, Andrea Winner, or Weiner, is not, um... One of the names that were there. Anyways, there she goes. There she goes again. Jeremy sa has said that she likes guys who are rough and tough. She's looking over at you and smiling. So we see, here's the thing. We are not. We are not a rough and tough guy. I don't think there's a possible way we can make this work. So we're going to be uninterested and smile back and tend to our work. We are a bit of a bad boy, but we don't have the muscles to back it up. I guess this girl doesn't strike your fancy right now. Since she did show some interest in you, it was admirable of you not to try to take advantage of her. Thoughtfulness increases. Where's my calmness? That comes probably during the middle part of a relationship before the breakup. <laughs> you become a lot calmer. Your friends ask you if you would like to be in a rock group. Excited about the idea, start planning. Your first ask is to come up with a suitable name for such a group. There are several suggestions. Choose the one you would like best. Tormented, the Cabbage Hedge, Larry and the Mumblers. I like that one. 
That sounds like a fitting name for a talent of your caliber. Now you must choose your position in the band. Um, so this is a bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, the lead guitar. I don't know how good we'd be on this stuff. Let's be the bass player. I actually have a bass and can play it in real life. Not very well, but I can do it. Um, fine, Maestro, what do you want to be? Band leader. Let's be the band leader. We're confident guy. You certainly have the intelligence needed for this kind of responsibility. Under your leadership, the band makes terrific progress. In the coming months, you interview every pretty girl in the school, telling them you need a star for your upcoming rock video production plans. Aw, oh, jeez. Hey, man. It's not so bad. Oh, I should really do some studying. We'll do it after this uh, social event. And after that, I think it's time to call it a video. Livingston, a foreign friend from Jamaica, asks you over to his house for dinner. Your first course is an interesting looking kind of soup. You take a sip and find it's delicious. You inquire, what kind of soup is this? Livingston mother replies with a, sm a proud smile on her face. Turtle soup. Hmm. If it's delicious, let's let's do it. Your willingness to experience new things is remarkable. Besides, those little pieces of meat taste just like chicken. Your adventurous delights the Livingston's mom, who shows you pictures of her island and tells you about its people and customs. Intellectual sphere rises. Hey, man. Good food is good food. Uh, don't eat Galapagos tortoises, though. Uh, humans have been bad at not eating them in the past, and we need to be better about it. Although it's uh, it's been a while since someone's probably eaten one. You are still new to high school. An upperclassman offers to sell you a discount pass to the school swimming pool for only 50 cents. He claims proceeds will go to charity. Do you buy the tickets? I think this is a ripoff. And I'm not very physical. I'm sure you have guessed your school doesn't have a swimming pool. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, sucker. How much further do we have here? I right, got some job stuff coming up. Mm. All right. I'm kind of tempted to skip. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to end the video here. Already 32 minutes in. You have just mustered up the courage to ask Faith Morgan, voted hottest bod of the century by fellow classmates, out on a date. Hopefully, she's a little bit older than us because we apparently are a brand new student in school and it'd be awkward for the whole school to vote uh, a grade nine. Uh, I don't even know how high school works in this game. Is it like Canada where it's just five years or is it like the States where it's three years? But much later on? I don't know. Uh... Out on a date. She looks you up and down and rolls her eyes and says, be real. Oh, we got to be unflappable. And say something to her. Oh, I am real, baby. All right. Let's be unflappable and walk away. She can't flap us. Your guts may be turning, but outside you stay cool, calm, and collected. You are confident, but rejection is hard to take at your age, no matter how well-adjusted you are. You'll probably meet someone who appreciate those these things in you. When you do, Faith becomes interested in you and tries to steal you away. Now's your chance. Remember, hottest bot of the century. You can... Let's resist her. We found someone else, and we know what type of person she is. Good choice. This girl is only interested in guys she can't have. As soon as she could have us, she wouldn't want us anymore. Very good. Okay, so that's the end of this video. We're probably about halfway through high school. Yeah, 16. Going on 17. We're a little further than halfway. Next time, we'll probably be doing a little bit more stuff with our job. We'll probably try to get enough studying done that we end up getting that uh, law scholarship. I mean, we're making 75000 a year already. That's 80s dollars, early 80s dollars, which equates out to a ton of scratch. 
I'm Zerfall. Oh, it's actually a lot of cheddar. No, it's a lot of Jack. That's what we're looking for. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you again in the next video.